Hi guys, what's going on? It's not. Welcome along to the Discus Daily Challenge for Thursday, the 17th of May. Today we have Stealth and Ship Surveyor on a Salvage A with three infestations. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's begin. You got sensor. All right. This room's got all the goodies. No fuel, though. No fuel. Can't tow. Hey, ship scan. Bit of a lucrative room now, isn't it? Okay, so D18. Okie dokie. So this now becomes a little bit problematic. Um, how are we going to proceed from here? I mean, we could send. I guess we could send one. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's send one over to. Alright, well we could put the generator on one, and then use stealth to open D11, and see if anything comes out, right? Slime check though. No slime that I can see. Alright, D18. So let's do... That for that. Navigate to nav two to R ten. Nav three to R ten. That could be an escape route. Uh, D eighteen, and then we're going to do A one. D11 stealth. Not ideal. As we don't know what the infestations are. Um. Huh. So, yeah, I don't really want to, I don't really want to go into our 7 and start using that generator yet. I mean, we might not have a choice. But for now, I, I don't really don't want to. So let's dock A2. Slime check. And that's the reason I don't really want to do it, is because I've not had slime spawns yet. Stealth A2. Hey, Mr. Leaper. Okay, it's all well and good, but I 
Come on out of here, please. Okay. Dock A1. Never notice how stealth doesn't, like, if you leave stealth on, it doesn't, like, discharge itself during that sort of phase. So... I mean, I, I don't know how else to proceed here. I mean, we can do the same again. We can do the same again, like, down below. Problem being down there is that there's actually two rooms. And there's an open door, so if infestations are moving in between, it's going to make it hard to sort of check out both of the rooms. rooms are clear. Rooms are clear. Good to note. Um, but yeah, I mean... Doesn't really help me though, because... All right, and now have a swarm in there. Okay. So. This is going to be extremely risky. So let's risk drone number three. Also, flag R4. T14 makes no difference to me. Okay. Just to be uber safe, I don't, just in case, we still don't know where that third infestation is. Let's, um, let's hang back here a minute. I'm sure it's going to be a sentry, right? Okay, now it's time for the risk. And we need to hope that this swarm... Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. That's not going to work, though, is it? I think this through in my head how I'm actually going to achieve this <sighs> I 
Alright, sod it. Let's go. So I want D11 A3. That's just left me totally exposed. Please do one. Please move. Please move. Oh, for sake. Yeah, I dropped a clanger here. Oh dear. Well, all I can do is just sit and wait. Swan, move seriously. All right, so There's only three more rooms to like look at, and I really can't. Man, um, all right, so have sensor. Let's try this risky maneuver again, shall we? Okay. Okay, no, 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 no! I've left the door open! <sighs> oh my goodness. This, this is horrible! This is horrible!
No, 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 no. <sighs> yeah. That was always going to be the risk. Always going to be the risk. Um, I handled this situation very, very poorly. Very, very poorly indeed. Um... Maybe what I should have done is I should have put my drones in R3. That way I could have still salvaged one and two from the airlock in the bottom corner. Um, yeah. It's kind of like from hero to zero. I, I don't know how else I could have done that. I have to bring the swarm. I had to bring the swarm through the generator room. So there was no way that I could like back it up. I had to use one of my drones as like a to, as like a sacrifice. The problem was, what I found is when I was like coming out of R9, the swarm was very, very quickly going back to R7. Which was... Um, not ideal, to say the least. Maybe what I should have done, um, in hindsight, well then, do one. In hindsight, maybe what I should have done was, um, maybe I should have, before the vent spawn happened, I should have opened D8. Um, as soon as I knew there was a Leaper in R4, I should have vented that room, opened D8, and at least that way I could have had like a bit of control. And it would have been easier to then um, push the swarm into R4 without having to like try and drag it through the generator room. I could have gone in through R9. So, hindsight uh, is a beautiful thing, but um, unfortunately today, it has cost me dearly. Made some big, big mistakes today, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think I was due like a, a rubbish day anyway. I've had quite a few good days towards the top of the leaderboard, so. Yeah, I, I was due a rubbish one. Anyway, time today after all my post analysis was 18 minutes and 5 seconds. Score today, I don't really want to see what it was. But, um, yeah, 145. Smith is on top with 1,170. So a big scoring mission in the end. Um, Mystica, 11.15. Decavoid, 10.10. LB, 10.75. Dano 1045, Cobalt Commander 760, Faxtology 740, Jury Rig 700, Sp Spelunker 680, Iron Smeltry 540. Myself there down in 14th with a 145. I'm, I have a hunch that Shipscan was maybe involved. Well, I had Shipscan, yeah, no Shipscan. Um, but I have a hunch that there was like a bracket and... Ship scan looked like it was possibly very lucrative unless people ran into trouble from sort of like sixth and under. Uh, be interesting to see people's runs later just to see how everybody else coped with the mission. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. Please go and check out the other Duskers Daily Challenge players. Links to their channels and playlists are down below in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.